Raise the pain like I'm Nagato Got no father like I'm Naruto Keep the blade on me, Ichigo Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo Diamonds whipping up on the stove Lucky man like a fully glow Diamonds wanna go Hello guys, this is Nagato and welcome back to my channel For today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showcasing on how to install a new hard drive into your PlayStation 3 This doesn't matter if you have an official firmware or custom firmware PS3 This does work on fat models, slim models, and also super slim models What you need in this video is basically your USB drive, your new hard drive, and of course a Phillips screwdriver uh, This process is pretty easy For today, I'm going to be using my regular slim and with this, I'll have a link below for this hard drive as well. I got it for a great steal for about like $22 via eBay. And I'm just trying to see. I wanted to upgrade with one terabyte, but I wasn't too sure. So that's why I went with the 500 gigabyte one. With that being said, with the USB as well, guys, we need to basically go ahead and back up. This is optional for me since I'm, I don't have anything on this PS3. But make sure you back up any saved data or any files on your PlayStation 3 before doing this process. Because anytime you put a new hard drive in, what we need to do is basically upgrade the system firmware or basically reinstall it since your PlayStation 3 has to reformat your hard drive as well and I'll show you where how to do that in this video assuming that you have all the tools shown here what you want to do if you're using a PlayStation 3 slim like I am what you want to do is go ahead and flip over your PS3 go ahead and pop this compartment out right here and then from there within the compartment there will be a blue screw just take your Phillips screwdriver and twist it in into that slot and now what you want to do is basically there's a little compartment on the side of your PS3 and it just instantly slides out so you just slide and pull and then right now you should have this little tab you just got to tug on it a little bit and that's basically where your hard drive is located so it's not a big enough process so as shown here this is my uh, 320 gigabyte old hard drive and then there's four screws at the bottom that you basically got to uns unscrew for each part so go ahead and do that process and I'll meet you guys basically when you rebuild your new hard drive so what you want to do now once your new hard drive is in and you screwed all four screws into the exact place what you want to do now is go ahead and take your hard drive flip it over and then just insert it in and make sure you hear like a little click and it should go straight in now what you want to do is go ahead and before you put your screw in go ahead and put the little uh compartment back into its place and then put the blue screw in and then just screw it and then from that process close off the tab and then from here guys what we're going to do is go to the pc and then once we do that method we're going to take our usb drive and insert that in the ps3 so we get our new soft system software update All right, assuming that you guys are back on your PC and you successfully basically rebuilt your PlayStation 3 with the hard with your new hard drive in, what you want to do is go ahead and take your USB that is formatted to FAT32. And I'll show you guys real quick just to check on if your USB is formatted to FAT32. What you want to go to is basically your USB, right click it, go to properties. And if your file system states that it's FAT32, great, you're on the right track. If not, it's okay. What you want to do now is go ahead and right click over it, go to format. From here, for file system, if your thing is on NTFS or XFAT, just switch over to FAT32 right here. Allocation unit size, you just make sure if it's on the full allocation or whatever your PC states. Volume label, doesn't matter, you can label it anything. Make sure to go ahead and hit quick format. If you guys do have any, um, items or basically any documents go ahead and back it up before you do this process because anytime you reformat your hard drive like for example here and you hit okay it will basically erase all your files so if you do care about something go ahead and back it up onto another usb drive or via a pc or something but with that being said assuming that you guys are on fat32 as of right now what you want to do is go ahead back into your root of your folder and if you guys are going to have to update your PlayStation 3 as well since you put a new hard drive in and your system basically has to reinitialize the database what you want to do is go ahead and make a folder called PS3 and then within that folder make a new folder called update 
and then we're gonna have to get a file called a ps3 updat.pub and this is basically the system software firmware file that we need to put in there but what we want to do now you can just minimize that what you want to go to is Google of course and now either I have two methods so if you guys are on official firmware trying to do this you can use the official PlayStation link and go on to the latest version of 4.84 but if you guys are on custom firmware like I am via here I'm going to be using rebug 4.84 kex and now what I'm going to do for here and it shows you both on both websites how by the way on how to install it and this is the method we just did so we took our USB storage device that is formatted to FAT32 made our two folders and then we're going to have to basically download uh, this this file called the ps3 update.pub but since I'm doing a uh, custom firmware what you have to do now, and this is the latest version of Rebug as of right now. Go ahead, if Rex, if you're on Dex, go ahead and use the Rex one. If you're on Rex, go ahead and use the Kex one. So Kex is Rex, Dex is D Rex. But what you want to do now is go ahead and open this link. It should basically download this WinRAR file right here. And within this WinRAR file will be a little TXT as shown here. And then you could just open up the TXT like normal. And then you should basically get this uh, website to get the ps 3 dot pub for rebug. So this is the custom firmware. And then you could just minimize RenRAR. And then from here, just go ahead and control V to paste the link. And now what this is gonna do is basically update or basically download the update file. So that's the update file right here. As that uh, basically doing its thing, what you want to do now is go ahead and use this website and I'll explain a little bit more why we we're using this. So anytime I like to tell anyone when you update on a custom firmware, PlayStation 3 especially, there's certain things you gotta have to do. So first things first, make sure your Wi-Fi has been disconnected from your PlayStation 3. Make sure that you have no disc in your PS3 as well. And also, once you do that, make sure you do the MD5 hash check. So if we go back to our TXT file, Rebug Team has left this hash. And what this hash means is just to verify that the file is not corrupt or in, in this is the actual file that it says it is. It's because if y'all guys remember back in the day, there was a whole outburst in the custom firmware scene where people will give fake update files and it will basically break your PlayStation 3 console. So y'all guys always want to be careful, always, you know, safely eject your bees and all that good stuff since this thing only has like 10 seconds left I'm just gonna wait it out and then what we're gonna do now is minimize that and we're gonna go find our pub in our download folder as well Here, I'll maximize that so you just right click go and show in folder it should be in your download folder so this is basically the file right here what we want to do is go ahead and right click it copy it and then back on our USB drive, if I could find it real quick on my end. Yeah, back on your USB drive, what you want to do is go ahead, go to PS3, go to update, and then from here, go to paste. And basically it's pasting our custom firmware, um, basically our system firmware update. What we need to do though, since you see how the name is really long and it has a bunch of random numbers and letters, uh, the PlayStation 3 is not gonna recognize that. It has to be in that certain, um, basically a certain file name so the PlayStation 3 can read the file. So once this is done copying over for you guys, what you wanna do is go ahead and make the screen a little larger. You could go ahead and basically uh, stretch this out for here and then what you want to do now is go ahead and right click over the file go to rename and then where you could basically erase all this stuff out and this is how your file should look so now your PlayStation 3 can now safely read your um, basically the system update but before we safely eject and go to the PS3 and then get this installed what we want to do now guys is go ahead take your file open up this link right here called onlinemd5.com. Any of the programs and any of the tools I use for this video today will be in the link in the description below. But what you wanna do now is go ahead and take your PS3 update.pub, basically copy it to this website and it's basically gonna upload the file checksum. Take the same file checksum that we got from our rebug um, TXT, copy and paste that. And what we're gonna do is compare both of them 
so we know for sure that our file is not corrupted at all so we can ensure that we could have a very safe um method from going on basically reinstalling our firmware so as you see here if you don't get this check just go ahead and re-download it make sure to get it from another site but it has to be the same thing if it doesn't say the same thing that means your PlayStation 3 is at risk of getting bricked and then basically you can't play your PS3 anymore it won't boot up so with that being said you got all the steps done right now what you want to do of course is go from here right click and then from excuse me right click over to USB drive and then eject it safely and once basically the your PC gives you the notification that your USB drive has been safely removed what you want to do now is of course take your USB drive plug it into the PS3 and then what we're going to do now guys is basically I'm going to showcase on the next steps on how to reinstall your firmware so meet you guys back on the PS3 all right so as you see here guys what you want to do now is take your usb drive that has your system software update make sure it's in your usb port of course go ahead and replug back into your playstation 3 and now what we want to do is go ahead if you guys are using uh your custom firmware or if you want a jailbroken ps3 make sure your wi-fi is off and also make sure there's no disc in your playstation 3 as well so now what you want to do is go ahead and hold the button down for the first time and keep holding it down until you see the system shut off because basically what we got to do is put our PlayStation 3 in safe mode so as you see right now you're gonna hear the last beep you just got to keep holding it down and then once you let go your PS3 should shut back down to the reset mode and now you want to do the same process go hold it down and then when it beeps two times guys this is when we're gonna basically go to our PlayStation 3 and get into safe mode. So as you heard here, you heard the two beeps, and now your PS3 is safely in safe mode. And now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you on screen that basically uh, all the steps to successfully install your uh, custom firmware. So I'll meet you guys back onto y'all uh, to the TV. Shown here, guys. Basically, I have safe mode already up on the screen right now. What you need to do is make sure your PlayStation 3 controller is plugged in to your PS3 via USB. And now, what you want to do is go ahead and go select number six, which is the system update option. Go ahead and click X. And now, what you want to do is make sure that your firmware is the correct one, of course, and then hit start and select. This process does take a little while for it to show up. So, what's basically happening is that the PlayStation 3 is reading your hard drive data for the system update so it does take a while for it to basically initialize into that state so once that process is done what I'm gonna do is basically showcase on the next screen right quick because it does take a little while that basically is going to be copying over the data from your USB drive to your system and I think yep there it go right now so as you see here it's basically doing the preparation and I'm gonna pause the video right here guys and then show you the next step or how sh it should look so as shown here once basically it copies off from the USB you should basically see your system software update and then from here what it's going to do is basically try to check it one more time and then it's going to ask for the license agreement since mine's is custom firmware it's going to have a rebug firmware license agreement as opposed to the regular Sony official firmware update as shown here and then basically you have to accept the agreement and make sure once you click X do not turn off here you know system and basically let, let it wait for install I'm gonna pause the video right here and then I'm gonna show you the end result of how your system should look after basically it installed as shown here guys this is the end result 